It's Wednesday. Not Monday, which is sad. But it's time for us to do what? Get crumble cookies. cookies. Yep, we're going to get some crumble cookies. So let's go and get them now. We got them. Now we just got to take them home and try them out this week. All right. Start this week out. We have the double chocolate chip cookie. This is a warm cookie with pieces of milk chocolate and semi-sweet chocolate all throughout it with a dash of sea salt on top. Next on our list is the Brookie Dough Pie. This is a brownie pie cookie filled with cookies and cream cookie dough mousse and topped with brownie cookie pieces and cookie dough bits. Third on our list this week is the Raspberry Cheesecake. This is a buttery graham cracker cookie topped with a smooth vanilla cream cheese frosting, sorry, vanilla cheesecake frosting, and it has a dollop of raspberry topping. Next on our list is the peanut butter cookie featuring Snickers. This is a peanut butter cookie with chopped Snickers topped with a caramel buttercream and sprinkled with Snicker pieces and a drizzle of milk chocolate. More than a drizzle, I think. That's I think it's explosion. splattered. <laughs> So if you get that, just uh, you know, bear in mind that's chocolate. Fifth on our list is the brown sugar cinnamon cookie featuring Pop-Tarts. This is a warm brown sugar cinnamon stuffed cookie topped with a brown sugar cream cheese glaze and crumbled with Pop-Tarts on top. Last on our list this week is the chocolate cake cookie. This is a rich chocolate cookie topped with a smooth chocolate fudge, frosting, and shaved chocolate curls on top. All right, it definitely feels different this week doing this on a Wednesday as opposed to Monday, but because of the holiday, Crumble Cookies gave some days off to their uh, workers, which I think is a great thing. Now, next week for um, January 1st, they are closed that day, so we'll be bringing you cookies Tuesday. And we'll tell you about those, a uh, little hint, some of them are out of this world. All right, so we're going to try to keep the holiday spirit alive, because I know I wish it was Christmas all the time. So hence why I am wearing my lovely Santa hat again. And I've got my National Lampoon's Family Christmas shirt on. So oh, I didn't even notice that. Didn't even notice it. It's a nice shirt. I love it. Um, so which one do you want to start with? we got six this week, because they, they swapped that chocolate cookie um which is a good thing. They always go chocolate chunk, chocolate chip, chocolate chunk. This week they said, hey, let's put it all in there. So what do you want to start with? You know what? I'm honestly not feeling, I don't know. We don't have the best of luck when it comes to doing the candy bars with the cookies. So you want so to go right out the gate with the messy one that looks like one. exploded in our box. So peanut butter featuring Snickers. And that looks really melty. Looks like they melted it fresh and just threw it all over the cookie. Yeah, it's definitely a hard cookie when I was separating them. So it looks, looks good though. It looks messy. Hopefully it's like the Butterfinger and it tastes better and it's not like the the other one we have that was awful. Alright, cheers. cheers. As I dropped it on the floor. It's messy. Okay. Okay. I mean I do get peanut butter vibes. I get Snickers. I think having the chopped pieces of Snickers in the cookie and on top of the cookie really helped. Where sometimes in these cookies, when it's the candy cookies, we just get it on top. Okay. So. Let me break it down for you. Um, there are different kinds of Snickers bars, right? We have normal Snickers. We have white chocolate Snickers. We have Snickers with almonds. And recently they've come up with the peanut butter Snickers. I think that's been the most recent, right? That caramel buttercream is really good, though. This tastes just like the peanut butter Snickers. It's one of my favorite ones. It's not overly hard with chocolate. It's got good peanut butter taste. And that's what this is. I thought maybe this was just going to be a peanut butter cookie topped with Snickers. No, this is like the peanut butter Snickers um, candy bar. Okay. Th this is terrific. Now, I really like this one because I enjoy the peanut butter Snickers. Whenever I get a chance to get that one, I do because that one's one of their best ones, I think. Uh, and this is on par with it. This is really delicious. I thought the caramel buttercream was super yummy. Mm -hmm. um, it was really tasty, very smooth. Um, yeah, it is just a caramel buttercream. I love the Snickers. I mean, who doesn't like a good Snickers candy bar? Um, I thought it was a little chocolate heavy. Maybe it was because of the splatter of chocolate on top. No problem with that. Um, it, I'm sure it would have looked prettier <coughs> had it been drizzled and not... 
no, all was, over the top of it. It, it was um, definitely drizzled, but it was drizzled, drizzled with a heavy hand. Okay, we'll say that. <laughs> um, it Surprisingly, between the crunchy cookie and the soft other things it's to it, it's color. not bad. It's an actually pretty good cookie. So, but yes, the texture of that outside, it is a hard cookie. I so, like it. Yeah, that one actually surprised me. I wasn't expecting to be happy with that one at all. And they said it's a peanut butter cookie, so yeah, most peanut butter cookies are tend to be a little harder. Yeah, and I know we, I know we've only had one peanut butter cookie make the list so far, so maybe this is a contender for that. We'll have to see. On to cookie number two. What do you want to try? Well, we had chocolate with peanut butter, so do we just go for the chocolate chip cookie, the double chocolate chip cookie? We could we could go double chocolate chip. Oh, it's like really melted. <laughs> Double chocolate chip. Hold on, I'm trying to get my cookie. We've had the chunk before. Cheers. And that one. Ooh, look at the yummy goodness inside here. Lots of good stuff. Up. Look at all that melted chocolate because you have the chocolate chips on top and then you have the chocolate all around. This you would definitely need with a glass of milk. Mm hmm. I saved my milk at the end. Mm. That's good. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm so messy, I need a napkin. Great chocolate chip cookie. I like how they put the chunk in with, mm. with the milk chocolate. I say you need to eat that when it's warm. That one's good. Get it as soon as you get it from yep. the shop. Yep. That one is super yummy warm. Yep. You, you definitely can. Uh, I know they have a triple chocolate chip that we've tried before that I like to add in another chocolate chip, but the double is perfectly fine. Double is great. Uh, I wouldn't be sad if that one replaced the chocolate chip cookie uh, all the time and just had double every single week because... That one's good. It's the best of both, chunk and chip. I loved it. It's a good old-fashioned chocolate chip cookie with added chocolate chip chips. You get the semi-sweet, you get the milk chocolate, you get chunks, you get chips. It's the best of both worlds. I, I love that cookie. Great chocolate so, chip cookie. So I'm glad that they swapped it out this week and gave us a total of six. <laughs> I'm guessing we should probably go for the next one to the... Um, How about a non-chocolate one? Well, yes, we got two of those left. We have four um, chocolate cookies this week. Uh, we will go with the Pop Tart, the cinnamon sugar one, which I said last time they did this that they needed to go chocolate fudge or like s'mores Pop Tart because no, those not ones around are the good. holidays. Because uh, they did this one recently. But as you can see, we have our yummy Pop Tart on top, mm -hmm. and then we have the cinnamon, like they said, inside. on the inside. Yep. So let's see how it goes. Cheers. Cheers. Now, what kind of icing is on top of this? Let me you said uh, cinnamon cheesecake? Or cinnamon brown sugar cream cheese glaze. Crazy. It's a glaze, so it's not a frosting. See, I'm already losing part of my pop tart. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a cinnamon roll to me. Tastes like a pop tart. Um, the last one we had with this was a little bit harder and it tasted more like a Pop-Tart. This one is kind of getting away from the Pop-Tart and tasting more like a cinnamon roll. Yeah, which, I was going to say, it reminds me of a cinnamon which roll. Which I prefer. I like the softer cookie. I like that glaze. I that don't think we had that, that glaze last time. So it it didn't say it had an improved recipe, but this one is definitely better than what it was like last some, time. I like this one more than some of the other Pop-Tart cookies we've had and i love the crunch you still get that pop tart crunch on the top yep. the glaze was amazing it was not a heavy cream cheese icing it was a glaze just the right amount of sugar um i loved the extra cinnamon inside of it the cookie has a little bit of a harder texture on the outside which is kind of crumbly yep which is kind of like a pop tart so i think it keeps true to that yep i love it if you love cinnamon rolls you probably really like this cookie it would probably re taste really good warmed up, too. Probably like a cinnamon roll. So, I thought it was overall a good cookie for being a breakfast yeah. pastry. Yeah. So. Well, most of their breakfast uh, cookies are very, very good. But this one's Add great. this one to the list as well. Yep. I, I would like to see them try a few different uh, Pop-Tart flavors. Like well, what I have said, we done? We've done brown Strawberry sugar, and brown sugar. sugar. That's it. So, oh, they should do the blueberry one. So, if you stick with the originals, then it's going to be chocolate fudge and it's going to be blueberry. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the, the s'mores. Um, that could go for a fruit one, too. But one I will tell you, don't ever do mystery Pop-Tart. Because that was garlic cheese bread flavored, and that was awful. I don't think I've seen that back on the shelves anymore. No, because it was just mystery flavor. Try it out. And that was their way of saying, hey, we're going to try savory. That was the worst thing ever. I put that in my mouth, and I, I felt like Will Ferrell on Elf when he got the cologne sprayed in his mouth. I was like, ah! 
it was awful. So, yeah, that was off on a tangent, but on to the next cookie. On to the fourth one. Rookie dough pie? Yeah, now sometimes we have a little bit of problems when it comes to the pies, but I love the way this one looks. I mean, you have the pie, the cookie, the brownie pie, I should say, that looks like a cookie, which is all scalloped and looks like a little pie. Um, you put it in the middle, it's like hard to get out. <laughs> Surrounded by others. Yeah, so what I like about this one is it doesn't look like the normal See, it looks like a little pie. plain Jane vanilla pie. It's a chocolate pie. So hopefully it's going to taste better. It's a brownie pie. I like brownies. I like pies. Check I like cookie dough. What it looks like on the side. And it, look at this. You can actually see chocolate chips in there. That sounds good to me. Cheers. Mmm. Big brownie taste. Mmm. 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 That one's got almost too many flavors to unwrap. That is really good. The cookie dough in there, the brownie pieces in there, the brownie pie in there, and then the cookie dough cream. All right, let's take one at a time. Yeah, it's good. The brownie pie. Yummy. The pie shell, we'll say. Yummy. Very good. Very chewy, very much like a brownie. Chewy, brownie. You will get brownie with that. Mm -hmm. well, let's go then to the cream, the cookies and cream packed cookie dough mousse. Nothing wrong with that. I would like to eat that just by itself. Package that, put it in a container, and I will spoon that out and put it right in my mouth. I love it, but I think it needed just a little more. No, it's yummy. I thought it could have used a little bit more. Compared, okay, and this is the only reason why I'm saying that. Because compared to the size of what you get for the brownie, and you look at the thickness of the brownie. That looks 50-50 to me right uh, there. See, I don't know. They just... <laughs> You're more of a 60-40 type of girl, eh? No! I felt like <laughs> the the cookie dough. No, it's cookies and cream. I keep saying cookie dough. It's the cookies and cream. I felt like it could have used a little bit more to it. Like, okay, when you look at it from the side and you take that bite, you could totally get some more cookies and cream filling. I, but moving on. Yeah, I... I will always... The flavor is there. I'll agree, hey, let's go ahead and put more of it on there because I'm an icing guy and that's great icing. So put four inches of it on there. I wouldn't mind the cookie we and then boom, much. there's that much on there. I've got a big mouth. I'll stuff it in there. We don't need that much. But the extra <laughs> little brownie tops that was great. added more brownie taste and to it. cookie dough, cookie dough bits. Balls. It looks like cookie dough balls. It's but bits. They're no, good. can't say balls. It's bits. It's delicious. So that that's a great cookie. So far, four for four. Crumble saved uh, saved Christmas week for like some really good cookies. We're gonna go out this year with a bang. Well, that's next week. Come to a cookie that I believe we've done multiple times before. Whether it's strawberry cheesecake or something, this is raspberry cheesecake. Yes, but thank you, Crumble, for finally adding a fruit flavor between all of the chocolate this week. We get a fruit cookie, something to cut back all of that. I feel like I got gypped on the cream cheese. Well, seeing as how you're a 60-40 kind of girl, I think it's closer to that ratio for you. I could definitely use some more cream cheese on this one. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, I could definitely use some more cream cheese. Compared to the size of that cookie and what I got, I could have used more cream cheese. Love the raspberry. Not overly sweet. If you're somebody that's not a fan of textures with fruit, probably not a good idea because this does have the if you can kind of see it does have the seeds in there so if you are a texture person probably not the cookie for you i love how crumble does not scrimp on the fruit preserve it's not raspberry flavored it's raspberry actual like jam or preserve so that's good what I wish Crumble would do is not scrimp on the caramels that you put on your caramel stuff because I'm going to keep beating that dead horse. We need real caramel, chewy caramel, like not Rolo caramel, but caramel. Um, but raspberry cheesecake is great. Um, yes, I, I would love to have a little bit more cream cheese. The raspberry on top is great. The cookie <coughs> tastes good. Sorry. Everything's great. Uh, so far, five for five for me on cookies. It's going to be tough this week kind of deciphering how it breaks down. One more, and that's the one we're saving for the milk, because it's all chocolate. chocolate. Last one for this week, chocolate cake. 
This is chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Yeah, I believe we've had we'll this one before. Like Good Actually, chocolate cookie. I think we have. I think it's chocolate fudge icing, chocolate shavings. Uh, I, I'm always a fan of chocolate. Yeah, it's basically a chocolate cookie well, with chocolate fudge. Could be like a curls. death by chocolate cookie, but it's just chocolate cake. Cheers. Yes, nothing wrong with the chocolate. Ooh, that looks like cake. Make sure you have your glass of milk nearby. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's fudgy. Mm -hmm. The cookie got a little bit of crunch to it. Definitely chocolate. That frosting, OMG, looks delicious. It's not just dolloped on there and spread around. You can tell they took a pastry bag and they went around with a pretty like star tip design. Looks beautiful. Not scrimping on the chocolate shavings. There was a ton on there. Loved it. I need my milk. I can't wait for you to do your milk segment because I need to take it now. <laughs> um, I love how the frosting is like the chocolate fudge that you used to got when you were um, much smaller and your mom or grandma or whoever would cook for you and they were like, hey, here's the chocolate fudge frosting because that's what it tastes like. It, it, it does not me, taste like the can. It brings me back to, to childhood and having that really good frosting. Uh, it also brings me to our frankening for this week. I love the chocolate, chocolate frosting. Raspberry. Is that what you want to do? That's uh, what hey, I hey, thought you were going to hey, do. Hey, you, you just said chocolate and raspberry. You're going to start with your Franken. Let's go ahead. Chocolate and raspberry. Show me what we got. I'm, I, I'm going a different direction with it this week, but that that I'm sure some people would like that. Let's go. Chocolate, raspberry. Let's see this combo. Here's some chocolate. Oh, no. Small bite. A little raspberry. Small bite. Oh. How's that taste? Is that good? Chocolate raspberry. Chocolate raspberry. I love it. Awesome. I think that's a good one. I'm going to go a little bit different. I love the double chocolate chip cookie. Tell but, me your cookie. But I wonder, would it be better with icing? So I'm going to go chocolate chip cookie double with chocolate cake and see if it just, it's fantastic. Mm. Mind you, it was a lot of chocolate, so mm. there's a lot to eat through. Mmm. I love the chocolate chip cookie. It's good in its own right, but putting an icing on top really makes that thing awesome. <laughs> so I mean, you can't go wrong with chocolate. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> a win. So this week, lots of winners. Um, we're going to have to deliberate here in a second, but first, I'm, I'm going to have to get some milk. I couldn't wait. I needed my milk earlier. On to that milk. I'm trying to think, what would I rate as my not favorite? What would be my favorite cookie? Also, do I go with the fruit, or do I go with the all chocolate, or do I go with the two different types of chocolate chips? Ugh. Boy, the milk was cold this week. That hurt my throat a little bit. Ugh. But I'm we'll... trying to think what I would have as my favorite cookie this week. Tune in, and we'll tell you in just a couple minutes. All right, boys, you've got six to try this week. Six, yeah. So you're going to tell us what you think of each of them. Let's go ahead and start with the double chocolate chip cookie. I was like, what the heck? Is like, Which one was that? I think this is the one that was normally for a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, like, I feel like every, like, how long is it when they switch? Like, I mean, like, every why? other week. The cookie is soft and crunchy. The chocolate is very warm. Remember the... It's good. It's good. Need a little more salt and and this was here. That would be even better. Eat it up in sea salt. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's try cinnamon pop tarts. They didn't give me a lot of the pop. Well, and more just fell on the floor. That's I mean, even less. That's why you don't tilt it backwards. It tastes like a pop tart. And 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 the thing I like about it is that in the actual cookie itself, there there is like a little line of brown sugar, like a pop tart. The cookie itself is like a pop tart, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I like it a lot. And you do get that nice like um cinnamony cookie with the nice cinnamon icing. And then you get a little cinnamon powder on top of it. It's good. All right, let's go with the chocolate cake. 
I love chocolate cake. Looks like a death by chocolate. So it should be cold. No. Chocolate cake. Mmm. The chocolate's very, very good. The cookie is nice. That icing is very chocolatey. And the chocolate shavings on top is very good. It's like a chocolate cake. There's nothing better, nothing um, worse. It's just a chocolate cake. That's why it's cold chocolate because it tastes like a chocolate cake. But very good. Awesome. Let's go ahead and try the peanut butter featuring Snickers. It's not exciting. Why did they only give us one free one this week? This makes no sense. So they have given us two because there's so much chocolate. Mm. The peanut butter is hard. Yeah. What's it, Snickers? Yeah, it's like a peanut butter Snickers. Like, you know, Snickers? you can get a normal Snickers bar or you can get the, the like, brownish package. It's the peanut oh. butter Snickers. That's what this is. The Snickers? And there you go on top. The peanut butter is that like the hard peanut butter that like get like ice cream. Mm -hmm. The icing is very good, and the cookie tells is very um, soft. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. I see every single thing that he just said. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, let's go with raspberry cheesecake. Finally, the only fruity one this week. <coughs> I'm pretty sure Mom was very excited about this. Nope, she loved it. I said, I think Mom was very excited, and you just said, I, no. I thought you said sad about this. <laughs> mm. That raspberry puree is very, very good. It's sweet. Really juicy. It, it's like sweet and tart a little bit at the same time. Mm -hmm. The cookie itself is very, very delicious. And the buttercream is very, very soft. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It is a nice, like, crunchy, um, She's cakey um, cookie, and then you get that nice whipped cream, you know, like with top, no, icing, and then you get that red um, like compote on it. It's delicious. You definitely need the raspberry compote on it. All right, last one, Brookie dough pie. Oh, I love it, and I love cookie dough, and I love pie. Mm. So sad. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Go ahead and eat. The cookie is very, very soft. It's like Oreo buttercream for me. The um, cookie crumble on top is like soft. And the, and the cookie dough bite on the cookies are very good. It, it looks like if they had a chocolate pie, they put cookies and cream like filling. And then they put a cookie dough on top of it. That's what it looks like. It looks like it's co combined of all the different types of cookies. I should have won. Alright. What's your favorite one? Um, the rookie, rookie, rookie pie. Rookie dough pie. Nice. What's your favorite? The raspberry cheesecake. Raspberry cheesecake. Excellent wait, work. Wait, what's the, what's the um, freaking one to that this week? Well, Mom chose a weird one. Mom, Mom said, I want the... Chocolate cake with the raspberry because she wanted chocolate raspberry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do both. It's better than both. Now, I did chocolate chip cookie with chocolate cake to try to see what the chocolate chip cookie would taste with icing. Uh, wait, but, wait, but you, so didn't, this you one? didn't leave a lot of raspberry on there, so you wouldn't be able to I do most. Okay. I, I say you just try the other one. Or not. Huh? Uh, I'm good. And um, yeah. All right, so how did you like that Frankenstein? Very good. Did you tell me? I like raspberry one better. Yeah, the raspberry one better. All right, mm -hmm. cool. Thanks, boys. Today was a rookie dough. Who cares? All right, that was tough. A lot of deliberation. We are coming to you three hours later. Um, three hours later. <laughs> I'm being facetious. Um, but coming in at number six was the double chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookies are great, um, but they are the one that you can get every single week. I like how they kind of change it up a little bit, and I wouldn't mind seeing a chocolate chip cookie on there with some frosting, because I think that Franklin was pretty good. Maybe the chocolate, maybe the chocolate, chocolate, whatever it is, um, maybe put that chocolate frosting on the chocolate chip. Yeah, frosted chocolate chip cookie dough cookie. That'd Ooh. be good. Um, coming in at number five. The peanut butter featuring Snickers. I would have rated it higher because I really love peanut butter Snickers, um, but that's why we have kind of a consensus. You know, we, we fill the room 
What does everyone feel? Um, everyone, and, and, it's just you and me. No, you and me and the boys, of course. The uh, boys do their own ranking. No, they do. But um, that, that, we put at number five. Uh, could have been higher, in my opinion. Uh, I'm happy that they actually treated Snickers well that way. Because sometimes they are missed with their um, candy bar cookies. Maybe it's the caramel buttercream. That, I don't that think was good. any of the other candy bars get a caramel buttercream. I don't know, but uh, that one was a winner. I really enjoyed that one a lot. All right. Coming in next for the week was Number four. the brown sugar cinnamon featuring Pop-Tarts. <coughs> I appreciate that they kind of reworked that recipe. I feel, I don't know if it's just the crumble that we tried, but it definitely tastes better this week than it has in the past. It was so. a very good cookie. Um, if you love like the cinnamon roll flavors, you would probably really love this cookie. Oh, yeah. Really good. Coming at number three. My favorite, the raspberry cheesecake cookie. Raspberry cheesecake. Bring they, on the fruit. They do a lot of um, a lot of cheesecake cookies. There's nothing wrong with that. No, there isn't. But, you know, let's kind of go outside of the realm of normal. You know, we, we've had raspberry cheesecake. We've had strawberry cheesecake. I think we've had key lime at some point, right? Have we? Yeah, I think we've had. We've had. I don't remember that We've one. had pecan pie. We've had pumpkin pie. Let's go crazy. Let's have like eggnog pie or nope, no, nope. we're past the holidays. Chocolate brownie now. pie or Can't do eggnog now. wild it's done. berry pie, razzleberry. I don't know, just something. Come up with something cool. Um, coming at number two, the brookie dough pie. Speaking of pies, yeah, that one was good. Uh, you had so many good things. Like I said, Brownies, for them to have a solid cookie, cookie good cookie base, nice cookie icing or something on top, and then little things on top of that which make it even better so that was great and it it made the list barely at number 25 so if we have some good ones coming up that'll be dropped off the top 25 list and if you were keeping track the only one left is the chocolate cake cookie coming in at number one chocolate cake uh for us it made our list at 21 so it's on the list will it stay there forever not sure Probably not. <laughs> all depends on how many good cookies that come out with so this week for Christmas, because this literally was um, Christmas Day, the 25th, when these cookies were supposed to come out, and today's our first day to try them. So this is the Christmas week of cookies, and Crumble has given us a gift with fantastic cookies. So thank you, Crumble. That was awesome. Thank you. Uh, hopefully everyone is enjoying this holiday week. If you have it off, great. If you don't, then, you know, just do the best with what you have. And for those of you who like spoilers, if uh, you don't want to be spoiled, then don't listen. But next week, for the new year, we got some good cookies coming in. First one is Mallow Sandwich featuring Oreo. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Anything with Oreos. Yes, yeah, so I it, how they have the red velvet sandwich with Wonka really was horrible. Um, they, they, did, horrible. they did that red velvet cookie wrong. Um, so I'm guessing like chocolate cookies and then having like the mallow cream in between like an Oreo, but like a large crumble cookie version of an Oreo. So that could be good. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, one that my kids are going to be looking forward to, Confetti Milkshake. Um, some of the best cookies that Crumble has ever put out are the milkshake cookies. So Confetti Milkshake is probably going to be really good. I'm looking forward to that. Um, earlier I said... That this week's cookies are going to be out of this world. That's because we got the Galaxy Brownie. And for those of you who know, that's, um, going that's back a to Little Debbie. Little Debbie uh, and that should be nice and fudgy. Have like little crispy things on there. So hopefully that's really good. A ray of colors. Yes. Uh, next one is Skillet Cookie. Um, I don't think we've ever had one like that. No. So I, I'm I'm guessing it's going to be more like a pie, like the Brookie Dough one. But the, the Skillet Cookie, we'll see what flavors. If it's butterscotch, toffee, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, and the last one's going to be your favorite, I think. Yes. Blueberry muffin. Bring on the fruit. <laughs> and the muffin. Uh, so those are the five which this week. Which is a breakfast cookie, which is probably going to be really good. Yep, I agree. So those are the five coming up next week. Uh, let us know. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Um, those look like they're going to be good to us. And then the coming weeks. Oh, tune in. we got some good ones coming in. All right. So that will do it for this week. What was your favorite, Fig? like uh, the raspberry one. That was good. He actually probably would since he loves raspberries. I love raspberries and blueberries. They're so good. Look, I'm as big as you are, Mama. I'm a big lizard. Oh, well. He's not interesting. Um, so, that was good. Like I said, I think Crumble saved some of the best ones for, for Christmas. That was really tasty. So, everyone enjoy. <gasps> Figgy doesn't have his Santa hat on. 
I'll get it. Oh no, no, this this would take too long. This one over here has given this little guy a whole bunch of different outfits, like a little Santa hat. I think he doesn't like it. Yeah, it's it's like, so sad. It, it's even worse. She she given him an ugly Christmas uh, sweater. She gave him the bumble from Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Too it's it's truly truly a sad thing. See, so you can't tell. Hold on. He's fine. It, it, this is supposed to be the outro. This is not supposed to be the Figgy dress-up show. <laughs> I, I do agree. All right. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. All right. Uh, but for us, and this Christmas week of cookies, uh, I would say Ben. <laughs> Mayor. Not See you next time, and we might have some videos coming this week, so get ready. Happy Bye. New Year's.